Welcome to Clevers, Ibrahim here. Today I am going to cover Let's Encrypt SSL of Nginx Proxy Manager. This is the part 8 of Nginx Proxy Manager 0 to Hero series. I am making complete production grade video of it. If you not watched, previous part was that one first. Deployment guide is available in the part 1 video description. Just copy paste it and enjoy. SSL implementation is very simple. So let's do in the lab. You can uh, uh, watch my previous part which is available here in the Nginx Proxy Manager 0 to Hero series and uh, I prepared a EC2 instance because I'm not uh, I'm not deploying it uh, in the my uh, Proxmox right now so I prepared AWS EC2 instance and uh, open this port you can see here and uh, I connected EC2 instance and deployed to container one is the nginx proxy manager second is one is the coming soon i taken these commands from here i used this run command to run uh, nginx proxy manager and uh, after that i used coming soon page here from here okay and uh, yeah it's running here in the nginx proxy manager also i added one domain to manage this nginx proxy manager so i am going to cover uh, I'm going to add one domain which will point on uh, coming soon page. So let's add fr first uh, Nginx proxy host and uh, I want to point it uh, on private IP. Okay, so let's check the private IP of it. okay and port is 8080 once it's done once you open it you can get um, coming soon page right but it's not on the HTTPS it's on HTTP so we are going to implement let's encrypt SSL for this domain then click on edit and go under the SSL select uh, request any SSL certificate force SSL and I agree make sure change your domain right now I not changed my credential that's the reason it's showing this one I'm going to add my email ID once let's encrypt going to expire it will notify me to renew your SSL okay otherwise it's uh, automatically renewed but somehow if it is not able to renew in that case it will mail us okay just click on the save It will take a little bit time and after that SSL will be applied yeah you can see here before that it was on HTTP only now you can see it's on the let's encrypt once you refresh it it will redirect on the HTTPS this symbol will be changed okay I already added 443 yes I already added so no need to change security group yeah here you can see SSL applied if you go here and you can see verified by let's encrypt if you want to get more information of SSL you can see here the domain name is same and certificate you can see here is by let's encrypt and you can see here uh, it uh, let's encrypt provide for three month expiration so from first Feb to second May okay let's do one more thing here to do practice uh, I want to uh, show you some another demo okay I want to uh, run one Nginx container and I want to apply SSL so you can uh, see from the scratch docker run hyphen itt dash dash name equal to nginx okay hyphen p 8081 colon 80 nginx nginx container uh, nginx image is not available that's the reason it's uh, pulling from the docker hub once it's done it's done it will be running you can see here nginx is also running so we are going to add one another domain okay 
one more thing here which domain i am adding here i already pointed that domain to this public ip you can see here my public ip okay i am performing this on aws so i will terminate it once my demo it demo is done okay so again ip we need to take private ip yes it's done 8081 right now see this is the nginx one on the first request it will take time and after that it will immediately show you okay here you can see this is running on http and i want to run it on ssl let's encrypt ssl so i'm going to edit it again and go under the ssl section and request for let's encrypt ssl Force SSL and change the email ID. Okay, I'm changing email ID to let's say there is no email ID running on uh, this domain because this domain is a temporary domain for the demo. So there is no email here, okay, but I'm just adding it. It will take again a little bit time. And after that it will apply SSL you can see here on the nginx as well let's encrypt applied and uh, if you see this is running before uh, uh, before SSL and uh, once you refresh it it will forcefully you redirect on HTTPS and it will use SSL certificate of let's encrypt this is very simple basically there is no rocket science so you can use it in your environment okay. nginx proxy manager is very useful tool so i suggest you must uh, use in your production environment as i'm using so i think uh, that is enough for the today let me know what you guys think if you have any question leave a comment thank you very much have a nice day ahead see you in the next video